guys, it's me. And today we're gonna be checking out some things that I learned on TikTok. Everything I know. Did anyone know these car park mirrors were so squishy? No way. I mean, they're shaped like a dome, so yeah, they very well could be. Next time I see one of these, I'ma touch it. What's well, today years old when I learned this? If you're doing the self-checkout and you're putting in your coins one by one, you can actually lift the coin slot and just pour all the coins in. And dollars too! I was putting them in one by one. You could just put the stack there and it'll automatically suck them right up. Why don't they give you a tutorial for these things? We have all this wonderful technology right in front of us and we don't know how to use it to its fullest potential. Have you ever wondered how we know which order is yours in the drive-thru? Our system takes a small picture of your car. So I know this order is theirs because it's a white car. Once you pay, it's gone forever. So you're taking photos of my car without my permission? What if all the cars in the drive-thru white? Then what? Which one of y'all white cars ordered a sausage McMuffin? I have never seen anybody cook chicken like this. Did five minute crafts actually do a good thing? You put the drumsticks through the wires and just... <gasps> Put it upside down and it's just like, oh, this is good. It's like an upside down rotisserie machine. And the oil from the chicken drips on the veggies beneath it. Oh, this is good. Genius even. Just found out that this is a scam. There is no surprise that a lot of carnival games are scams. <gasps> but they got the aerial view footage. You trying to throw a spherical basketball into an oval hoop. You see the shape of that? Will it even fit? Might as well put a PS5 with the prizes because ain't nobody gonna win that. That is scummy. It's a good thing I watched Animal Planet as a kid or I would have mowed right over these little guys. <gasps> there is a family of baby bunnies on that sussy piece of grass. I would have never known. That's where they hide out. I had a bunny living in my yard for the past like year. I don't think he knows how to leave. If you don't wear your shoes, they will literally crumble away. Olympic sixes from 2000. They've never been worn, but they're cracking and the midsole is in sad shape. I can do the same Ooh. thing. Also, these Air Max 90s, these are dead stock, and you wouldn't believe it either, but this is what happens when you don't wear your shoes. So if you don't wear them, they crumble away? I mean, they're sneakers, they're meant to be worn, not put on display. Oh, that is brutal. Someone had to find this out the hard way. So her dad got her this keychain tick remover. <gasps> oh, it was effective. If you guys know me, I am terrified of getting bit by a tick. Like, can you feel it? Ticks are the number one reason I don't just roll around in the grass. Ugh. Oh, that is so effective. It's like a bottle opener, but for ticks. How many tick bites can one person get? Now destroy them, set them on fire. I didn't know such a device existed. Why do the Asian girl characters always have blue hair? Hi, animation student here. Well, I was one, I'm not anymore. But it is so hard to animate black hair. I get that my hair is brown, but you can see how the light is reflecting and you can see like texture and stuff. In animation, you can't get that kind of texture and the movement doesn't portray well if the hair is black. Still working on fixing it, kind of hard, which is why characters that have black hair, like Marinette, get hair that's blue or really dark brown or even purple. I see this so much in animation. Anime. Characters with black hair always have like a tint of green, purple, or blue hair. Where they will put a streak of color in the black hair so that when the hair moves, you your eyes follow that streak and your brain translates that movement to the rest of the hair. Ah, okay, black hair, hard to animate. Add some color to it, makes it easier. That makes sense. It is really that easy, ladies. Oh, they change in their air filter. Oh, if I gotta like unbutton some, nah. How many things are you taking out to get the filter out? If any tools are involved, I don't wanna do it. Oh, that is filthy. Okay, that'll do it. That'll make me wanna change it. I can't believe how dirty that filter is. Have you ever changed your air filter? I haven't. <laughs> I'm gonna go change my air filter. <laughs> I know somebody in the world doesn't know this. What? She just popped it open like a car hood. I think a lot of people don't know that. How did I grow up with one of these and I didn't know that? If it lifts up like a car hood... Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's even got the little lever to hold it up. I mean, thanks, but... Aww, oh, what the... Aww. Oh, get them hard to reach areas. Apparently I needed this. Forbidden sauce splatter. Now I want to know what the secret compartment is for. 
This dude had a Capri Sun pouch and it was very full, swollen up, and it ended up having fungus inside it. So I guess that's how you know if it's bad. So he cuts it open and wait till you see what's on the inside. Like you never know when these go bad. Ugh, what is that? Pour it in the clear glass. Okay, that looks normal, right? <laughs> Look like a fungal fetus swirling around in there. <laughs> the strawberry kiwi demon. So Twix came out with this bar that comes with two pieces of Twix, a left and a right. So the difference between the two pieces of Twix is that one has more caramel and one has more cookie, which is genius. So whether you like more caramel in your Twix or you like more cookie in your Twix, there's a stick for everybody, unless you're gluten free. Then you can't have Twix. They bought a car wash and we're gonna see how much money they made. Oh wow, you even got an air freshener dispenser? It's pretty cool. Look at all them quarters. Ooh, we only accept quarters here. Oh, and dollars too. Dang, literally bucketfuls of cash. Almost $800 in a week. And you don't even have to do anything except collect the money. That's not bad, that's not bad at all. What do you do? I'm an accountant. I had no idea that your iPhone could actually turn into a computer mouse. What? It'll probably only work for your MacBook or your iMac, not PC compatible. So you go to general, mouse, shake it, and then it somehow magically turns into a mouse. Lost your mouse and just, oh my goodness, this is actually genius. I like the one with the wire, it's very reliable. This is how Taco Bell makes the beans. They come in sacks of dehydrated beans and they just pour hot water in them. Why is there foam in the beans? I mean, yeah, this is how a lot of fast food places do their food. Unfortunately, like it comes in sacks and they just heat it up with hot water. You wanna pay like $1 for a bean burrito? They didn't want to look like, unfortunately. If you've been storing your cutlery like this, you've been doing it wrong. Messy. If you have extra, you flip it around and look how organized that is. I know it looks nice, but you see, this takes time. I'm gonna still throw them in there. I thought these were candy bars or something, but they're markers, highlighters, and you can recharge them when they run out of ink. So you buy these ink packs through the tip and it just soaks it all up like that. That's so weird. These might be a specific kind of marker, but I thought when it runs out of ink, you throw it away. You tell me there's a whole ink stack that you can buy. Push it up into the pet. The tip will just slurp it up just like that and it's refilled. Pretty cool. How a motorcycle airbag works. Motorcycles have airbags since when? What? <coughs> oh my God, are you sure that's an airbag? That's the funniest tampon commercial I've ever seen. My guy went 360 degree protection. That all came out of his seatbelt. Inflated. Cheated death by transforming into the Michelin Man. Did you guys know that Taco Bell cinnamon twists are actually made from noodles? Yes, they actually scoop up noodles and pop them in the fryer. Wait, 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 I gotta see this, I gotta see this. They actually work there. Look at them expand, quadrupled in size. What? <gasps> they got so big, they keep getting bigger and bigger. They was noodles. Just all deep fried and grown up. Imagine being a deep fried adult. The time lapse of a strawberry growing makes me never want to eat fruit again. I mean, where did you think it comes from? Yes, the flower turns into the strawberry. Growing up, I grew strawberries in my backyard and I checked on them every day. So I knew where they came from. Doesn't make them any less delicious. A vegan teacher be like, you know where burgers come from, but you still eat them. This is how cliff climbers sleep. My anxiety watching this, like people actually do this. When they're climbing a mountain, they will camp out mid-mountain, just floating, tent, chilling in the air. How can you sleep like this? They just hanging thousands of feet up in the air. I can't do this right now. I mean, if you want to sleep in a sack hanging thousands of feet up in the air, dang, you brave. <laughs> Me, maybe I like living. How to find a hidden camera in an Airbnb or hotel. Take this fire alarm for instance, it's placed right above the bed. Now one way to see if a device is a camera is to shine a bright light at it. If you hit a camera lens, it's going to give a bluish reflection. Now you can test this by shining a light at your phone and seeing how the camera looks when placed under a flashlight. Now this clock is mirrored, but if we shine a bright light at it, we can see through the glass <gasps> and see there's a camera there. There it is, I see the lens right there. These are going to be the most common things that you're going to check. No way! That is sussy, bro. Not me thinking every single light is a camera now. You know when I go to an Airbnb, I just like anything by the bed or anything like frame family photo. <coughs> a weird looking statue. <coughs> I just put it like face down. Why people gotta be so weird? 
how to order Starbucks like a pro, like the actual correct way. There is a right way to order Starbucks? From a Starbucks burrito, because y'all be ordering really, really weird sometimes, and we need to do this video. Sorry, I'll try to rehearse my order better next time. I gotta start writing it on my hand or something. I hate to say it, but size truly does matter at Starbucks. Please, 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 the number one thing is to always say the size of your drink before you actually say the drink that you're going to order. After you say the size of your drink, the second thing you're gonna say is the name of your drink. And you would not believe how many people go and explain the entire drink they're ordering without actually saying what drink they're ordering. Okay, that's what I have to do for them to get my order right. I'd be like, I want two blondie shots ice with one pup of the brown sugar and almond milk. What do you call that? When I order coffee, I have to list the ingredients, otherwise they will do it too sweet and then I can't drink it. And then, and only then, should you start doing the customizations of your drinks as shots, syrups, flavors, the number of shots, the number of syrups, alternative milks, foam, no foam, stuff like that. Y'all make it too complicated. Or maybe I'm making it too complicated. So I want a venti caramel frappuccino with extra caramel and the crunchies on top. I definitely have to write it down next time. Anyways, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button in the face. And make sure you turn on notifications. Click, click. Comment below what you learned. And make sure you subscribe to the Wolf Pack. Oh, I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.